I'll admit, I don't think I've been intrigued and bored at the same time in a long while. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 15. And before we start this review, please be sure to check out my buddy Cinesense. Emilio is trying to get 300 subscribers before he does his BC Cancer Foundation stream on October 24th. So make sure to check him out, subscribe to him, and also check out that stream. This episode has two different stories going on. The first story being about Sam and Dean going to find Amara and trying to make a deal with her to help her take on God. Whereas Cass and Jack are trying to go after this killer, this weird, super, kind of very relevant to Seven killer, but not as good. I will admit the main story that I thought would be a pretty big thing, being the Amara bit, is actually very sidelined. Whereas the Jack and Cass story is the prominent thing. And I will say, I like how the story goes. I don't like how it ends because I think it's so goddamn cookie cutter that it's so fucking obvious when it already starts. However, the ideology of faith and the reliance on it is questioned in this episode to the point where I actually really enjoy the conversations between Cass and the Preacher character. I actually thought this was some of the better writing of this season so far. Is it really thought-provoking? No, but is it actually written above a fifth grade level? Hell yeah, considering the last episode. But I did still find the outcome of the story very boring, considering the girl was so obvious right from the start, and her motivations don't really make any sense. And the line at the end where the dad says, I was taking care of all these people when I should have been taking care of her. If I had a dollar for every time that was said in this fucking show, I'd be rich. And then the Dean, Sam, and Amara story started off kind of lame. And again, I'm very weirded out by Jensen's acting in the last few episodes. It's very over the top. It's very much akin to soap opera in terms of his facial animations and just how he's delivering lines. A lot of the dialogue that he delivers to Amara is very corny, whereas the actress who plays Amara is very defiant and very stoic and doing exactly what I liked about her so much in season 11. They also kind of retread a little bit of the poop that dab trying to put on the whole god and amara relationship you have no idea what a relationship is you have no idea what it's like to be the literal beginning of the universe and i like that aspect then dean comes back in and has another question with her about his mom this is where they make up or at least attempt to make up for the absolutely hard writing that was mary they do point out that she wasn't as big of a hero this big stoic character that dean had put her in however the flashback all the way back in season four kind of did and then season 12 13 14 just proceeded to take a giant shit all over her character she just made mary a terrible character so i don't know if that's really them trying to make up for it but it was still decent ish writing and then it just ends with dean just being like i'm mad you should help me pouty face mm. and that apparently worked while that's happening jack and cass are having a conversation about how Jack is apparently being turned into a bomb because I low-key forgot about this stuff because I haven't really paid attention to all the story shit because if they're gonna, you know, do as little effort to actually write a good convincing story, I'm not gonna give it that much attention and try to remember it. So he says, I'm probably gonna die and Cass is like, I've already seen you die once, I'm not gonna let it happen again. You're wrong. He's already died twice. <laughs> Funny enough that I can remember that fucking shit and the show can't. Either ways, I think that this episode thankfully it was story related while trying to be also a monster of the week episode which was just human I, the monster aspect of the episode was not very well done i did appreciate the story focus the character focus even if the writing was a bit meh however again going off of what i've seen from season three this was just very kind of basic it was very cookie cutter but it's still not a bad episode especially after the last poop so i will be giving episode 15 of supernatural season 15 a four out of seven really it would be a three but i'm gonna try and be lenient a little bit anyways guys i hope you liked this video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe and like i said earlier make sure to check out Cinesense. let's get that guy up to 300 subscribers and make sure to check out his bc cancer charity fundraiser stream he does on the 24th of October. 
Otherwise, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.